Lesson 12.5 is about areas and volumes of similar solids. Okay, so first, just a definition of what are similar solids. And, you know, you've, you, you're used to working with similar polygons, so I think you can um, remember that two solids that are similar, like two similar polygons, will have the exact same shape. So we're, we'll be talking about angle measures being the same, etc. The two solids will have the exact same shape, uh, but not necessarily the same size. They will differ in lengths by some scale factor. And um, both of the solids will have similar bases, and then all of the corresponding lengths will be uh, proportional. Okay, a first example might be looking at two cylinders. The cylinder on the left has a radius of 6 and a height of 12. On the right, we have a radius of 4 and a height of 8. Now, the bases are similar because the bases of cylinders are circles, and all circles are similar. So what we do is we look for a scale factor, and we check it out. We say, well, the ratio of uh, radius to radius, 6 to 4 from left to right, is the same as the ratio of height, uh, 12 to 8 we see that both of those um, are uh, 3 to 2. They both simplify to 3 to 2. So we could say that these two solids are similar with a scale factor of 3 to 2. Okay, in the next example, I have two pyramids, and uh, I, I, their base edges, um, slant heights are labeled, and heights. So. I want to make sure that everything's proportional. So if I look at, on the left, um, take the height of um, the larger pyramid to the height of the smaller pyramid, so 8 to 4, and ensure that that's the same ratio as the slant height, um, 10 to 5, and it appears it is. It's a, a 2 to 1 ratio. And then base edge to base edge. On the left, base edge is 12. On the right, it's 6. So again, those are all the same, so I can see that the scale factor of uh, big to small or left to right for these two pyramids is 2 to 1. Okay, so that's how we establish similar solids to begin with. Once we've established they're similar, we know that the ratio of the perimeters of the bases, etc., will be the same as the, ratio, as the scale factor. And we know that the ratio of the areas, the lateral areas and total areas, should be the scale factor squared. Um, and today we'll also learn about the ratio of the volumes. Okay, so here's the relationships. Whatever the scale factor is, A to B, we already know that the ratio of the perimeters of uh, the figures, of like the bases and the base edges, th those will also have... Um, a ratio of A to B, same as the scale factor. Those are linear. But when we get to areas, that the ratio of areas, so this is going to go for both lateral area and total area of the figures will be A squared to B squared. And that makes sense because areas are in square units. So you've probably already figured out that volumes will be, the ratio will of uh, two volumes will be A cubed to be cubed. So it, it's the scale factor cubed because volumes are in cubic units. Okay, so in this first example we have two similar cones that have bases with area ratios 4 to 9. So key thing is these co cones we're told are similar. That's a, they have to be similar in order for this all to work. So if their area ratios are 4 to 9, and I'm supposed to find the ratios of their radii, their heights, their total areas, and their volumes, I'm going to start with the ratios of their total areas. Their to ratios of their total areas will be the same as the ratios of their base areas, 4 to 9. Then the ratios of their radii will be, because 4 to 9 represents A squared to B squared, the ratio of their radii will be the square root of 4 to the square root of 9. So the ratio of the radii will be 2 to 3, and that will be the same as the ratio of their heights, 2 to 3. Okay, so 2 to 3 is the A to B. And now, and then the 4 to 9 is the A squared 
to b squared. So now to find the ratios of their volumes, that's going to be a to the third to b to the third. So it's going to be 2 to the third to 3 to the third. So in simplifying that, that is 8 to 27. That will be the ratios of the two similar cones volumes. Okay, in this last example, we have two spheres, and we're given that the ratio of the volumes of the two spheres, small to big, is 27 to 64. Now, we know that this represents the scale factor um, cubed, so a to the third, b to the third. So I can um, work backwards and figure out the scale factor, but let's look at what I'm supposed to find. I'm supposed to find um, the area of the big triangle if I know that, I'm sorry, of the big sphere, the surface area, if I know that the area of the smaller sphere um, is 18. So I can do this using a proportion. So going back to the ratio of the volumes, I know that this represents the scale factor cubed. So I can work backwards to say, well, the scale factor then is the cubic root of 27, which is 3, to the cubic root of 64, which is 4. So if the scale factor is 3 to 4, that is the A to the B, then the ratio of the areas of these two figures is A squared to B squared, which is um, 3 squared to 4 squared, oops, um, or 9 to 16. Now I can set up a proportion. So using a proportion um, small to big to get the areas, I know if the ratio of the areas small to big is 9 to 16, that this is going to correspond to a given area uh, in the smaller sphere of 18 over an unknown area in the bigger sphere of x. And, you know, solving I can see I times 2 here. So times 2 I can see that x is equal to 32. So I can say that the um, larger sphere will have a surface area of 32 square units. And that's it for similar uh, solids, the areas and volumes.